Hi folks, I am doing a cosplay video today. I am going to be playing Katana from Suicide Squad, which I've not seen. <laughs> also, there's not many reference photos of her online as the Suicide Squad Katana. But I'm gonna show you what I have so far and kind of show you my process of making this cosplay and then show you the very end result. It's gonna take a teeny bit of sewing, a lot of bit of painting, <laughs> we'll see. Also, Ayana's in this. She already has the Harley costume. She is like a great cosplayer and I just am not at all. I just, I guess I've never done it. So we'll see. I'm gonna really try with this guy. Maybe it'll turn out great. Maybe it's gonna look like absolute crap. <laughs> but we'll see. This is the jacket I got for my Katana cosplay. It's a fake leather Forever 21 size small jacket that I bought for $4 at a thrift store near me. Katana's jacket is a crop top type jacket, so I'm gonna cut off these studs that wouldn't go with it anyways. It kind of worked out perfectly. And I'm gonna cut them right underneath the seam so that I don't have to re-sew the bottom of the jacket. Except for in this part in the back that didn't have studs. I'll just give that a quick stitch up. I'm also gonna sew the bottom of the zipper here so that the zipper doesn't completely fall off. Just go around a few times with a piece of thread. Up next is all of the paint and the flowers and the frou-frous on her jacket. So I'm going over the big gold one that goes on the front of the jacket with Sharpie. Then I'm going to paint it in with the gold metallic paint marker that I bought at my craft store. I filled the giant flower in with gold paint. Now I'm going in with the gold paint marker and drawing the small flowers on the top front of her jacket. She has a lot of flowers, y'all. A bit later, I'll be threading some red ribbon through. Uh, if you've seen her jacket before, you know she's got a bunch of red ribbon everywhere. So I'm gonna attach some of the leather I cut off earlier and make some straps. This is the back of the jacket. Like I said, there's a lot of flowers on her jacket and not many reference photos. So this is what I could make out of some online reference photos that I saw. Again, it's like a half flower kind of sunset thing with some squiggly lines. Now I'm going in with a Sharpie and just trying to make the edges as clean as possible. There are some symbols at the bottom of her jacket that I have no idea how to draw. And again, no reference photos that shows a clear cut image of these symbols. So I'm doing my best. So sorry if this is offensive to anyone. I'm honestly not trying to be offensive. <laughs> More offensive lettering, hooray! So I went in with a white paint marker and uh, did some, some kind of symbol, not sure what they are, <laughs> but it didn't translate to the very top part of the jacket. It had some wear and tear. Again, I got it at the thrift store. So I'm going in with white paint and just a paintbrush and going over the parts that didn't show up clearly. She's got a red cherry blossom at the bottom of the back of her jacket. So I painted it with white, now I'm going over it with red puff paint. I kind of wanted some kind of texture there with this flower and also kind of easier for me to draw with the puff paint container versus just a brush, so that's what I'm doing. And a final step for the very back of the jacket is I'm going in with a paper towel and some black paint and just kind of blotching it around for a wear and tear used look. Kind of perfect that I got this jacket at a thrift store and it already had some wear and tear. Katana has some shoulder pads and some knee pads. And I had this piece of foam that I was going to use and just kind of paint on the design that I could see from the photos online. And I didn't get too far before I just completely scrapped that idea. The jacket was already a little small on me, so I didn't want it to look too bulky with these pads on it. And I didn't think they were going to fit perfectly. It would have been kind of bumpy and weird. So sorry, no shoulder pads. Up next are Katana's pants. These are a pair of Express fake leather pants that I got at the same thrift store for $4 as well. So the writing is on the left leg and she's got three rips on the top of her left leg on the pants. So here I'm just old fashioned scissoring it. I ended up not finding anything from the thrift store for boots. So I'm just gonna go with my own combat boots. They've got a burgundy tinge to them, but she wears red so Hers are black, but they're combat boots. It's fine. This giant, super thick red ribbon is going to be around my waist. I ended up going with a 
white shirt from the thrift store. It's just a size US 8 top shop white tank. So this is basically the finished product. Uh, like I said, Jim has made a mask. I will have the sword and fingerless gloves. And then this is basically katana. My hair will be down and stringy in my face like hers. Uh, but I think it's turned out pretty good, guys. Uh, no arm or knee bands, but that's okay. I made this, which doesn't look at all like the mask, and Jim has this, and my fingerless gloves, also my sword, which I'm very excited about. And this is what it looks like with the gloves and Jim's sword. And his mask was way better than mine. <laughs> and there's the back of the bow. This is a fun look, y'all. There's a lot of cosplays going on in this costumes yeah. for the review. And look at Heather's Enchantress. It is so good. Like, I didn't know how this was going to turn out. It looks so I good. Either. This is the Viola Davis look. It has been such a long day. But thank you for watching. And I'm really excited for the episode. And I appreciate it. See you next week.